Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. You found it. This is Daily Dose Radio. Five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. Right here is where you're going to find your daily recommended allowance of Bible. We serve it up hot and fresh ever since March 21st of 2013. Yes, sir, that means our anniversary is coming up here pretty soon. In March, we will celebrate five years of broadcasting five-minute Bible study, studying the Psalms verse by verse. We studied all the way through from Psalm 1 verse 1 to Psalm 150 in four years. We're doing chapter 2, or volume 2 is what I like to call it. And we've been at it at volume two for about a year now. So we're going to come up on our fifth year anniversary, which means our one year anniversary for volume two. I hope that you'll celebrate with me as we get ready for March. We always like to do a a little bit of celebrating when we get to March just to celebrate the anniversary of the podcast. Five years podcasting the Bible verse by verse. Well, the Psalter verse by verse. Today we're looking at Psalm 34. Now, we've been in Psalm 34 all week. I'm going to take a big bite today, though, because there's a section here that I just don't want to divide. And so we're going to actually look at verses 9 through 14. Yeah, 9 through 14 today. So six verses, but today a little bit bigger bite. Here's what the psalmist says. Fear the Lord, O his holy ones, for there is no lack for those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord... Do not lack any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man that desires life? Who loves to see good in his days? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking treachery. Flee from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. All right, now that's through verse 14. And the very first thing is the first two verses are all about the supply that the Lord manages for the righteous, his holy ones. There's no lack for any of those who fear him. Now, we talked about in verse 8, and verse 8 kind of sets us up for us because we have this taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who seeks refuge in him. And for that man, that man who seeks refuge in the Lord, that holy one, he's going to find that there's no lack for those who fear the Lord. Now, he makes a comparison then in verse 10. He says, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. Now, how is that? The lion is at the top of the food chain, if you will, when it comes to predators in the wild. There is no one any better at prey and predation than a lion. He's the king, and he's the king for a reason. And so the psalmist now compares the righteous man, the holy man, the man who seeks the Lord, against the lion, the king of all predators, who you would imagine that there is no want in his den. But the Lord says, the young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord, they don't lack anything that's good. So there's no lack for those that fear him. And then he describes that the lions suffer lack and want and hunger, but for those who seek the Lord, thing there's no lack of any good thing. Then we have verse 11. Verse 11 excites me. I love this verse. Actually, now everything that comes after verse 11 is in the voice of verse 11. So now we've entered the classroom. So we've gone through half of this psalm, 1 through 10, and we've talked about seeking the Lord and the afflicted man calling on the Lord and tasting and seeing that the Lord is good and all that the Lord provides. Now we come to verse 11 and listen to what he says Come, children, listen to me. So we're in the classroom. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. So now everything that follows is going to be about the fear of the Lord and understanding how that happens. He asks a rhetorical question there in verse 12. Who is the man that desires life? Who loves to see good in his days? All right, answer the question. If you're like me, you think, well, that's a rhetorical question because what man doesn't want to have life and see good in his days? I mean, everybody does, right? Well, that's the idea here. This is a rhetorical question. Well, it's everybody. So then here's the way to achieve that. Verse 13, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking treachery. 
Flee from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Now, he's got a lot more to say because we're going to continue in this vein, beginning in verse 15 tomorrow. And we'll actually, throughout the remainder of the psalm, we're still going to be in the classroom. So get your books ready and do your homework. And I'll see you tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.